Today we are going to make fresh squeezed lemonade, but I'm going to add a twist. My twist is going to be to add some fresh mint to the simple syrup. And this is going to be a simple syrup, and if you notice, I haven't even started the fire under it yet. But it's two cups of granulated sugar uh, with about two and a half cups of water. And I'm going to add some fresh mint to that. I'll show you. This just is the minute. amount of mint that I'm going to add. It's not very much. I do have a mint plant outside and it's approximately looks like six eight leaves and I'm going to mince that up really fun and I'm going to add it to the simple syrup. Hey guys I don't know about y'all but I love the smell of fresh herbs. This fresh mint is intoxicating. It smells so fresh and so delicious. It's going to be really really good in this one. Hey I have added it to our simple syrup mixture and I'm just going to get a whisk. I've got this on medium high heat. I've got a whisk and you want to just dissolve that sugar into the water. After it gets warm, it's going to be easier to dissolve. So once our mixture gets warm, I'm going to come back here and stir. But you can see that mint flavor will incorporate into this simple syrup. It's going to make some really good lemonade. You could also make mojitos. Um, iced tea with mint um, and a, a variety of different drinks with this. I'll tell you, it, it makes a lot of yummy stuff, this mint simple syrup. So that's the first thing. We're going to make our simple syrup. We're going we're gonna to whisk that until that sugar dissolves. See, the sh sugar is slowly dissolving. We don't want this to boil. We just want it to come uh, to a medium warm heat we want to we're going to let it sit too once it's done but it, you want the sugar to all be dissolved and it's getting there but it's not dissolved yet so you just want to keep stirring this till your sugar dissolves completely there's still some there in the bottom of the pan and then what we're going to do is we're going to take it off the heat and then we're going to let it cool down syrup is all the sugar has dissolved we're just going to let this sit another minute right before it starts to boil that way we know that that sugar is going to stay dissolved and then we're going to turn it off the heat now you will see the water to start turning a very tiny shade of green that's because of the mint leaves um, it's going to add some amazing flavor. Um, you can add some vanilla to this if you'd like but right now we're just going to leave it with mint and the lemon so and like I said you're gonna leave this just for a couple more minutes and then you're gonna let it cool down before you okay, use guys it. we are going to juice our lemons and we've got an old-fashioned juicer here I don't have one of those high fangled um, electronic ones and right now I'm starting off with two whole lemons and I'll juice those what we're looking for is about a cup and a half of fresh lemon juice but I would like to probably add a little more um, I'm going to aim for one and three fourths, maybe two cups of lemon We're gonna juice. We're going to start juicing our lemons. Start juicing if you our notice. lemons. And if you notice, it does catch most of the seeds. But I noticed down on the bottom there's um, a seed or two that falls through those little cracks. But we're going to go ahead and we'll strain that out additionally. Okay, guys, we are going to continue. Right now, I've got two lemons that I've juiced in here. I'm going to juice this third lemon, and we should have enough juice by then. But I'm going to go ahead and measure this out once I get this last lemon juiced. It just takes a little muscle, not a lot. And we're going to just continue to do that. And I'll be back in a minute and show you. We're going to measure it out. And I'm going to show you how we're going to take the remainder of these seeds that have fell, fallen in the juice below out. Okay, we, we have some juice in here and we've already strained some of it off. You want all this lemon um, stuff in there. Can't think of what I'm trying to say there. Um, part of the lemon, actually. We're going to strain this into the strainer, into the cup. And right now we only have approximately a cup. So we're gonna continue working on these lemons until we get almost two cups. You don't want any seeds in there, so it's really good to have one of these little strainers on hand. But you want all that lemon goodness in there from the lemon. So we're gonna keep going and we'll be back in a minute once we get all this juice ready. On smush of that pulp 
to get as much juice as you can out of those lemons. And I think right now we have just about enough juice. And that was about five lemons, five big lemons, okay? All right, we'll be back. I'm gonna show you how to mix this up. Okay guys, I've got about a little over a quart of ice cubes in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add our juice. And I've got about one and a half cups, not quite two cups. It's almost to that one and three quarter line. So we're just gonna take a little less of the mint simple syrup. Okay guys, I'm gonna add my simple syrup. It's still warm. Um, you probably should let it cool down, but I'm not because for a reason of the video, I wanna get it going and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and let it cool. But right now I've got two cups of the simple syrup with the mint added. And then I'm gonna taste test it. Okay guys, I've added three cups of the simple syrup to the one and almost three-fourths cup of the lemon juice. Now I'm adding water, ice water, and that is filtered water, and I've got two cups. And then I'm gonna do a taste test, and then I'm gonna come back in just a second and see if we need to add some more water. Okay guys, now let me tell you how this recipe went down. It's got about one and three-fourths cup of fresh lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice. We've got three cups of the mint simple syrup, We've added two cups of water and some ice, and now we're adding two more cups of the fresh um, filtered ice water. Okay, and you get a little over two quarts of lemonade. I'm gonna go ahead and try this because I did try it just a minute ago and it was too sweet. Delicious. Now for the taste test, don't mind my hair. Y'all, that is so good, you need to try it. That mint adds something really good to that fresh lemonade. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Delicious, delicious baby, delicious.